Oh, hello. How's it going? Thanks for watching my video. This is a product review slash book review on the new marine aquarium step-by-step uh, -step setup and stocking guide by Michael S. Paletta. Great guy. It's a good book. Wanted to show you the contents page. Getting started, saltwater, primer, live rock, establishing a new aquarium, selecting fishes, uh, health, what is it? feeding and maintenance. My camera's doing this weird reversal thing, so it's kind of difficult to try to read these on the camera. Um, but yeah, that's the contents page. It's a good book. I decided that I am not in the financial position to start up a saltwater aquarium and uh, I learned that all from this book. I only spent like ten dollars on the book, you know. One day I would love to get a saltwater aquarium, but for now I'm broke, man. So uh, it's cool though. It has like checklists. Here's a checklist that it provides. Um, you know, testing equipment, like water, what kind of water are you going to use, are you going to make your own salt water, are you going to uh, get like a RODI system to make water, are you going to get uh, natural water like from the ocean, um, you know it talks about a quarantine setup so it has small aquarium 10 to 20 gallons, submersible sponge filter, heater, all the stuff you need for a quarantine. Um, what else? Mechanical filtration, chemical filtration. This book recommends a live rock um, setup as your biological filtration, and uh, mechanical filtration would be like a hang on the back filter, just as extra. So your main source of filtration would be um, live rock and power heads for circulation, and then. The mechanical filtration is just something extra to add on. Um, so that's what this recommends. I have no idea if that's correct or not, but uh, I mean, from what I understood in the book, it sounds, it makes sense, you know. Um, so another page, since we're talking about live rock, is the live rock page. It shows the different kinds right here. and. Uh, you know, a little bit of information about each of them. And we have Fiji reef rock up here, Pacific turf rock with microalgae. I think this is Pacific rock, and then this is like Florida rock or something. And then just one more page I wanted to show you. It's just the uh, selecting fishes pages. These are the squirrel fish and soldier fish up here. Um, and it tells you a little bit about them. And I think these guys are nocturnal. Um, so, you know, you wouldn't see them too much unless you had a good moonlight or something. Uh, down here we have eels, snowflake eel and like a moray eel. Um, so it tells you if it's good for beginners. Um, what size tank you need, what they eat, uh, you know, kind of the basic information about the fish that would be good for a beginner. Um, it even gives you like a checklist for how big of a tank you have and how many fish you would want to put in it and what kind. So this one says like two clownfish for a 40 gallon, let's say, community. Uh, two clownfish, two pajama cardinals, two firefish, and then it says like two neon gobies or one shrimp goby. So you can play around with it, you know. It even gives you some room for your own like personal flavor, I guess. But yeah, this is the book. Um, definitely, I would recommend it if you don't know anything about saltwater aquariums and you're looking to uh, set one up. Um, I learned a lot from this book, and uh, thanks for watching.